Well, it's springtime here in northern Illinois, and we have uh, morels and false morels and other spring fungi here that we go out and look for. We had a foray yesterday and found both morels and false morels. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can tell those apart. So we have this morel that someone brought in from their yard to our meeting, and this is a true morel. Um, true morels have this top part, the head or cap, and then the stem. And if you cut them in half, the key feature is that the, both parts, the top and the lower part, are one continuous hollow chamber inside. We have different kinds of morels around Chicago. The yellow morel is the most common. The next most common is the half-free morel. And then we have black morels, which are pretty rare. We only have a few records of black morels. The half-free morel has a smaller head a longer, thinner stalk that somewhat gets fragile and elongated when they get older. And the half-free morel, or Michella punctipes, is what it's called, has the cap is joined halfway up on the inside underneath the cap. And if you cut them open, half of the cap hangs free on the top of the stem. These are joined halfway down for the half-free morel. Um, they're just as edible as the tumor. So we got two, actually two different kinds of false morels yesterday. The big red, Gymetra Carolinina, our third record for Chicago. Um, all those records were in Cook County. And the other false morel we got yesterday is the Gymetra corfii, which is shorter and squat, pretty blunt, wide stem. The head is really pressed around the top of the stem. Jarmetras, the false morels, aren't very common. We don't, only, we don't find them every year, and we only find a few at a time. False morel, you can see, is more brain-like, convoluted on the outside, has a um, fairly stocky, large stem. But when you cut these in half, you'll notice it's pretty solid inside. There's some chambers and convolutions, but no nice, clean, hollow chamber. So you can compare the false morel with the true morel, and you can see the difference on the inside. And the outside, the morel has a more regular pitted head versus these convolutions. So we have true morels and false morels. And false morels are in a different genus and actually a different family, the Jarmetra. Um, and they're somewhat related, but not that closely related. And actually, both of these are toxic raw, so you have to cook morels. But the toxin levels are higher in the false morels, so that if you don't cook them properly or cook them well enough, or you have one of the species that's really toxic, then you're likely to get sick. So we don't recommend the false morels at all. True morels, we recommend fully. False morels, huge warning sign, and we can't recommend you eat these.